Okay, so here's a 29-year-old single male. I found him, and I rated him unqualified, and then he was uh, subsequently evaluated by another psychologist, not Mike Leland, <laughs> and was found qualified. Uh, he was then hired, and then he was fired during the Academy for Sexual Misconduct with a female recruit. And so what I'm showing you is the pre-employment evaluation that I had that led me to find him unqualified. So uh, here we have some elevated F scales. Um, you can see that the, for those of you unfamiliar with the R, you really can't see this. That's, the screen is just not. You can see they're elevated. You can see they're elevated. However, you can't really see the... The gray, one of the things that the RF does that's so nifty, can you still use that word nifty? Is that? Yeah, I'm just dang 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 you. Bit, I'm just adding my, my yeah. linguistic well, analysis. Pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty rad. Yeah. Is that. <laughs> I don't ever use nifty. I don't know where it came from. Um, uh, I'm channeling somebody. Um, is, is that they have these uh, standard deviation above? and a standard deviation below the mean in gray so that you see when you're above or below a standard deviation from the mean and, the, and, and then you see where the person's score is uh, relative to that bar so you can see how they're falling outside the range. Um, so first thing you notice of course is the elevated uh, F. So what does that suggest to you? The, the L is not elevated, it's, it's well within normal limits. The K is quite low. What 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 do you what do you see from that? It's complaining. I mean, you don't see that with a uh, applicant. This is not a, this is not a defended person. No, he's right? putting his worst foot out. Right, he is putting his worst foot forward. Um, now it may well be because he doesn't recognize yeah. that these are not qualities. <laughs> that's also significant. It is significant. These are findings, yes. Now let's look at the, at the uh, clinical scales for the RF. And we see that the emotional internalizing dysfunction, that's the uh, first EID scale, is right at 65. And the, even the, the thought dysfunction score falls outside normal limits for uh, with a T of 57. That's outside normal limits. That's outside normal limits for police applicants, absolutely. So now we, we move on to the demoralization scale. That's the first of the MMPI 2 RF items. That's the one of the beauties of the RF is that it, it is that it extracts from the clinical scales the demoralization component, which elevates everything and falsely elevates the other clinical scales if they're not extracted. So what you get is, is when a person is experiencing a high level of demoralization, unless it's extracted, all the clinical scales are elevated, and you, you can, uh, it, it, it fails to allow you to see where the dysfunction is, what, what the source of the demoralization and dysfunction is. Well, with it removed, what we see is that somatic complaints become a big part of it. That also contributes to the elevated F, of course. <coughs> Uh, but then the RC2 low positive emotions is elevated, uh, as is aberrant experiences in RC8 and uh, RC4, uh, which of course is the antisocial behavior scale. Uh, there's also elevation on RC6 uh, and RC7 uh, relative to police applicants, although they're not clinically significant. How old is this fellow? Uh, 29. And uh, RC9 is uh, relatively low. That's that hypomanic uh, activation. Uh, then looking at the somatic and cognitive and internalizing scales, uh, we see that the, that the um, uh, gastrointestinal complaints uh, are quite high, as is malaise, as we would expect, uh, given the demoralization scale. And uh, the neurological complaints are also uh, high. Um, Self-doubt is quite high. And um, he has also admits to behavior-restricting fears at uh, 
uh, at the BRF scale. That's the second from the last. And then the, um, the, the externalizing scales are generally relatively low. There is, there is a, a couple of uh, items in the index range for uh, substance abuse. Um, the, family the family problem scale is elevated. Uh, interpersonal passivity and uh, social avoidance uh, are also high. And, and disaffiliativeness has one item. But just one item on disaffiliativeness for the police norms takes you outside of normal limits. So here we have a, a quite high score on the uh, introversion low positive emotionality scale. And uh, outside normal limits on the uh, negative emotionality and neuroticism uh, scale. And outside normal limits on the psychoticism scale as well. So uh, my guess is that this candidate, once he found out he was disqualified in his assessment with me, a month or two later is evaluated for this other agency, and he decided, huh, I don't think those responses I gave to Corey, yeah. <laughs> I want to do again. He learns from experience. He Number did. Learns. He did. Give him credit for that. The solver problem. He's a solver problem. <laughs> yes.